Now to our other top story tonight, part of Tampa's history devastated by vandalism. This is at Perry Harvey Senior Park, where black history is honored through art and murals. Police say they're investigating after finding holes in glass murals and city kiosks destroyed. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido is there tonight and found this isn't the first time it's been vandalized. Just driving by, you can see what happened here. But if you take a closer look, the damage done is extensive. Eight different holes in this one mural. Chunks of glass gone overnight. We fall so hard for this. A space to honor black history. This is our legacy. This is our heritage. This is our story. Destroyed in minutes. Very sad and heartbreaking. Crime scene tape now left behind where gashes outshine beautiful art. Tampa police say someone vandalized the murals at Perry Harvey Senior Park and a city kiosk. It's a senseless act. Detectives are now searching for just one person they believe is responsible, watching surveillance video from city cameras. As the community is left with questions. Whoever did it, I just hope they find some compassion in their heart to turn yourself in. Police don't know why it happened. I don't think there's any motive behind it. But people here think it was intentional. As far as I'm concerned, this is a hate crime, perhaps done by more than one person. Fred Hearns, a historian who works to preserve Tampa's black history. A hundred years ago, almost half the black population of this city lived in this neighborhood. That's why this area is so important. Each mural depicts the history of the scrub, one of Tampa's oldest and largest black neighborhoods. Today, cameras are being pulled out not to document history, but the harm done here. Just to see all of them destroyed, that was like a blow. Police say this is the third time the murals are vandalized, but this time is the worst. I just hope they repair it quickly as possible because if this was any other city park, the repairs will be getting done as soon as possible. Angie, the city is already forming a plan to clean up the park. Yeah, they're working on a way right now to try to figure out how to move forward, whether they get a brand new installation or repair the murals that were damaged. Either way, it's going to be costly, though. I'm told it's going to cost tens of thousands of dollars to repair both the murals damage and the kiosk as well. We'll let you know what they decide. In Tampa tonight, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.